Hi, welcome back. So before I started to take NMN, which has been about a year ago now, uh, I did a lot of research, watched a lot of YouTube videos, um, did a lot of digging about David Sinclair. Uh, and as I did this, lots of questions kept coming up, similar kind of questions, similar kind of concerns. And these are things that I needed to ponder before I ultimately made the decision, yes or no, as to whether or not to take um, NMN. Uh, I'm going to go through what I think are the key areas that um, I kept coming across as I was doing my research, uh, and I hope that these will help you. Either they will confirm your reason for taking it, if you're already taking it, or if you're considering taking it, then these are the th some of the things that you may wish to look at more uh, intensely before you actually flick the switch and decide to start to take NMN as a daily supplement. So without further ado, let's jump into the presentation uh, and cover the things that I think are key as to deciding whether or not you're going to take NMN. Let's look at the things you may wish to consider before you start taking nicotinamide mononucleotide as a daily supplement. If you think there are more considerations, please make a comment below so that anyone that watches this video in the future may be able to get some benefit. Many thanks in advance if you do make some comments or if you ask some questions. So the first question we need to ask is what is NMN? So NMN or nicotinamide mononucleotide to give it its full name is a precursor to NAD. NMN as a daily supplement has one function and that is to raise depleted NAD levels. So NAD or nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide to give it its full name is found in virtually all of our living cells and it's essential for sustaining life. NAD levels drastically decline with age and this creates an energy deficit which decreases the body's ability to retain youthful functions. Now NAD is biologically unstable. This makes it unsuitable for oral supplementation. Fortunately it may be easy to restore your cellular NAD levels using an NAD booster like NMN. This converts to NAD when it is in the cell. So first of all, let's discuss trials. So far, only clinical trials with mice have produced substantiated results on efficacy. So why should we trust trials that have only taken place using mice so far? Well, 95% of lab animals are mice or rats, according to the Foundation for Biomedical Research, the FBR. Rodents are used mainly because they have a short lifespan, two to three years. So several generations of mice can be observed in a relatively short period of time. Mice used in medical trials are inbred. So other than gender, they are almost genetic, genetically identical. The genetic and biological characteristics closely resemble those of humans and many symptoms of human conditions can be replicated in mice. At the time of posting this video, so far the results of clinical trials into the safety of NMN in humans has been published. I will leave a link in the description below to the video where I review that report. Human trials with regard to efficacy are still ongoing, so no results have been published yet. So, do you want to take a supplement that, at present, has only been successful during animal trials? Or do you think you will wish to wait until human trials have concluded and the data has been released? So another thing you may wish to consider is the dosage. Now, although NMN is commercially available, there is no official recommended daily allowance or RDA. However, there are numerous protocols on the back of numerous bottles relating to how much to take and how many times to take it during the day. 
bear in mind, as David Sinclair says, all these companies are still guessing. Also, no protocols have been established yet, i.e. before food, with food, after food, on an empty stomach, in the morning, just before bed, etc. So at the moment, as Sinclair says, we're still guessing. We're still at the suck it and see stage. Now, David Sinclair says he takes one gram a day in the morning. I take one gram a day of NMN at noon. Um, in a recent podcast, Rhonda Patrick spoke to Joe Rogan and explained a particular formula. So there's been all these studies over the past, I don't know, I'd say like six years probably now, five or six years, where various scientists are have been um, feeding mice you know this nicotinamide riboside or nicotinamide mononucleotide and they're finding that you know for example if you feed them nicotinamide mononucleotide um, it delays aging in their liver in their bones in their um, eyes their muscle um, there so it's basically like their tissues are aging better they, they have enhanced endurance they have uh, better mitochondrial function and these are doses like human equivalent dose to like 24 milligrams per kilogram body weight per day, which could be a lot if you weigh a lot. But Now, if David Sinclair follows this formula, that would make him around 42 kilos, which again is around 93 pounds. Now, he does look quite slight, but I'm not sure he's actually that light. For me, and my weight fluctuates between 91 and 94 kilos, I would need to take daily two grams, 280 milligrams, which as well as being a lot is also quite expensive. So if you are going to start taking NMN or you have already started, would you start low and increase gradually or go straight to your desired daily dose? And what would be your desired daily dose? Would you go straight for one gram? Or do you think you would go for even more? Another area to look at, and one that's close to many people's hearts, is that of cost. So cost varies. However, at the time of posting, pharmaceutical grade is going to cost you around $5.80 per gram. Uh, and if you want to emulate David Sinclair's dose um, and mine of one gram a day, that's going to cost you around $175 a month. Food grade capsules are approximately $25 to $30 for 30 capsules. So let's split the difference and call that 90 cents a capsule. Eight capsules to get you to one gram a day is about $7.20. So that's $216 a month for food grade. Now, another cost that you may wish to incur will that will be that of third party testing. Um, if, like me, you buy from an independent supplier or producer, then you may wish to get independent third party testing done also. Uh, this could cost you anywhere between $300 to $500 per batch. Now, you should be able to ask your supplier for their certificate of analysis or their certificate of assay, the COA. Um, and an independent certificate too. Some companies are on Amazon automatically post these as part of the advertising campaign. If they can't provide you with these certificates, I would advise you to seek out another supplier. Uh, and on these certificates, you're looking for purity and potency and for pharmaceutical grade, um, it needs to be 97% or above. Uh, and you also wanna look for heavy metal testing uh, too. Uh, in particular, cadmium, arsenic, lead, and mercury. Now, as the benefits of NMN have not yet been established in humans, you may wish to take some medical tests before you start taking NMN and then take them as you progress on your NMN journey to see if there are any particular changes. Uh, you may also want to take a test to establish your biological age before you start your NMN journey. Now, the cost of NMN may fall when human trials are complete. Uh, have you started yet, or are you waiting until the results of these trials are posted? 
So the, the next thing that you may want to consider is the purity or the quality or the grade of the NMN that you're going to take. So currently there are two grades of NMN that are available. The first one is pharmaceutical grade uh, and although it's only a few percentage points higher in purity than food grade, if you buy it in bulk it's going to cost you twice the price. Also be aware of um, sellers of NMN that will try and entice you with ultra pure or super NMN. It's either pharmaceutical grade or it's food grade. Now food grade um, NMN is what was used by David Sinclair in his clinical trials and it is actually what he says he takes um, capsules in the morning when he has his coffee. Beware, beware also of false economy. Um, food grade is of lower purity but if you buy it in capsule form it is actually more expensive than pharmaceutical grade powder. So the next thing you may wish to consider is application or oral or sublingual administration. So there are two types of administration. First one we'll talk about is oral. Oral administration is a route of administration where the substance is taken through the mouth and swallowed. Now this can be in tablet form or you can mix it with a liquid such as water or juice and swallow it. The next form is sublingual administration. This is where the tablet or powder is placed under the tongue and is allowed to dissolve. Now there are many conflicting views on which form of application or which form of administration is the most effective. Some say sublingual is the most effective because it enters the bloodstream quickly and does not go through the liver. That said, David Sinclair says that um, oral administration is okay. It's what he uses and it's also what his mice used during their tests. Uh, in one of his recent newsletters, he spoke about oral versus sublingual and said there's not enough tests being conducted yet to make a definitive answer. So with no clear direction, um, you will need to choose which method of administration you think is best. I don't really want to open up the big debate again, but if you'd like to leave a comment below as to whether you think oral or sublingual is best, then please do so. So something else you may want to consider um, is the buy in bulk. You could consider reducing the cost of NMN by, by, by making a bulk purchase. Now, pharmaceutical grade, if you buy it from Amazon, as we've said before, is about $5.80 per gram. Now you can buy and ship pharmaceutical grade from China for about $2,500 a kilo. That works out about $2 to $2.50 per gram. That's more than a 50% saving. Now the shelf life of NMN is two years. So to prevent having to throw half of it away, you may want to split the cost with a friend and that would give you both a one year, five month supply. If you share the cost, a one year, five month supply would then cost you $1,400. Uh, if you bought this from Amazon, it would cost you $2,975. And you would then need to pay on top of that Amazon's postage and packing. So you're looking at about $3,000. To buy in bulk and share the cost could save you up to $1,600. Now the saving with food grade, because it's half the price, would be even greater. So it is something that you may wish to consider. So if you're considering taking NMN, I really hope that this video has um, helped and answered some of the questions that you have. If it hasn't answered your questions, then please feel free to write those questions below in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them as honestly and as frankly as I can. Uh, if you're already taking NMN, and I know many of the people that comment on this channel already do, but you considered other things that I didn't uh, included in this video, please again put those into the comment section below uh, and I'll try to use them uh, in future videos. That leads me on to my last point for this video which is if you're new to the channel or if you've only been watching the videos please 
read. Take time to read the comment section below because there is a mine of information there. Um, many people leave very useful data, anecdotal information about um, their effects or the effects they've got from NMN. Uh, and also lots of people leave links to studies to do with longevity, anti-aging, links to videos with David Sinclair and Aubrey de Grey, etc. So please uh, do read the comment section below. Uh, and if you like to, leave a like or a dislike if you don't like the video. Uh, and feel free to share it because the more people that see this and become made aware of NMN and its its possibilities, then that's all the better. Uh, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Uh, and as always, I'll, as always, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.